Today's video is brought to you by SeedsNow.com. World War is fast approaching the United States. I'm going to be reporting on all of this on today's show. Make sure to tune in from 3 to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Click the link below me. What really worries me is this mobilization along the Korean border. Now, of course, we've had gotten very intense rhetoric from Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, who just looks like a little fat, pat boy. Uh, we don't even know if this was Kim Jong-il's son or not. He had multiple wives, many children. And very much, he is just a front man, just like President Barack Obama is today, for the military machine that is North Korea. But the question is, what is their objective? Is this just rhetoric, or are they really planning an attack? Are they really planning taking out an American city, New York, Washington, D.C., or something along those lines? Is this just talk? And I watch a lot of Americans, and I watch a lot of videos online, a lot of people saying, you know, oh, we don't have to worry about North Korea. They're just a bunch of pansies. They shouldn't even be talked about on the international stage. Well, to a certain extent, maybe you're right. But what we do know is that they're a loose cannon. What I'm particularly worried about is not necessarily what North Korea has plans for, but what are China's plans, which is also mobilizing along the Korean border as we speak. What are their plans? What are those billions of people's plans for America. Do these countries like us? Does the rest of the world like and love America? Remember, it was the United States that dropped bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan that ended World War II, killed thousands of people, millions of people. Remember, it was the United States that decimated Europe uh, and a good portion of the world. It's one of the reasons we've been so successful. It's why the baby boomer generation has been able to reap the benefits of increased leverage because the rest of the world was really having to play catch up. That's not to say or to vilify the United States and say that there weren't very good reasons why we were involved in the war and why we were trying to get rid of tyranny and take power out of certain people's hands, but that's just the truth. That's just the hardcore reality. But what I'm worried about is where will the chips fall when this house of cards comes crashing down on this financial system and this financial Ponzi scheme, which exists today? Just what we're, like what we're seeing in Cyprus, just like what we're seeing in Europe, a house of cards built on quicksand and built on thin air. Funny money, printed out of nowhere, has no real value, but for some reason Americans still think that they can purchase goods and services with it. What happens when that comes to a grinding halt and it comes to an abrupt end? And you see, that's exactly why the federal government, your administration, President Barack Obama, wants war. And it's why war will provide a giant smoke screen for the collapse that is yet to come. It's going to provide a smoke screen for the mother of all systemic shocks that will end the Federal Reserve, that will end the U.S. dollar, and will end it as a fiat currency across the board. So I guess the bigger question here is what will the United States government do? What do they have in store? Will they perhaps bomb in another, another American city uh, as a uh, false flag terror event to rally the American people behind a aggressor such as North Korea? Is the mainstream media pitching North Korea as this loose cannon aggressor nation as I speak and deliver this video because their intent is war. Their intent is to rally the American people to fight the devil, to always fight that Satan figure and propagandized figure, whether or not it's the Easter Bunny equivalent of Osama bin Laden, terrorism, or something else of that sort. Communism, we always like to label who the bad people are. Is it our own government? Is it our own system internally that is bankrupt, insolvent, and operating a criminal operation? You see, that's the even bigger, deeper question. I'm gonna get into all this during today's show. Also be taking your calls. Click that link below. I'm Christopher Green. You've been watching Green Wave TV, alternative media television. As always, hard hitting and in your face. Please support our sponsors.